hello my dear students so as i have promised so this is the next video about the polymer which includes the previous year questions from uh, uh, from 2013 to or 12 to 19 okay this is for the karnataka city 2020 so where uh, at a time we're going to get all the questions from all the question paper okay so it will be useful instead of wasting the time by searching the question papers here is an easy way through which you can get all the questions under this polymer chapter so for this video i'll uh, include 2019 okay 2018 and 17 for the next video let us study about 2016 15 and followed by the remaining years Okay, so already I have mentioned what is the possible number of questions from this chapter. Yet I have mentioned here for the 2019, the number of questions that have appeared is about two questions. So as I already mentioned, around one to two questions will definitely appear for the uh, Karnataka City 2020. Okay, might at least one question will definitely appear. So the first question you could go here. So even uh, when I have discussed uh, in the previous video about the homopolymer, condensation polymer and about the rubber, those are very important because if you go through all this question paper, repeatedly the questions have appeared based on that only. You will get to know when I start st like discussing about the these questions. Okay, so let us go with the first that is the polymer containing 5 methylene group in its repeating units. Okay, the polymer containing 5 methylene groups in its repeating units. The options are like nylon 66, decron nylon 6 and bakelite. Okay, so see here we have already studied. So when, I, when it comes to nylon 66, it has two uh, monomers one is adipic acid one is hexamethylene diamine okay so one is adipic acid one is hexamethylene diamine that i'm going to write a structure here that is this is what the adipic acid okay so this is the structure of adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine means six and nh2 nh2 these are what the monomers of a nylon 66 Similarly, when it comes to, yes, I agree, here there are a 4 methylene group, here there are a 6 methylene group. But what they are asking, the polymer containing 5 methylene group particularly, okay. So, it is less than 5, it is more than 5. So, that's why you are not going to consider this one. Next, let us come for the decron. So, decron, which is also known as a terylene, okay, consists of a 2 monomers. One is ethylene glycol, the structure is uh, ethylene glycol this is one monomer okay one more is terthalic acid okay terthalic acid this is how we are going to write the structure okay so this is terthalic acid we have a c here dear students okay so which also will not come let us come to the nylon 6 okay nylon 6 consists of a monomer that is caprolactam caprolactam or hexanoic amino hexanoic acid so if i try to write the structure see here nh2 ch2 5 covoh okay this is what the uh, amino hexanoic acid or amino caproic acid okay how many uh, ethylene group sorry methylene group you could see here 5 so, according to the question, there are 5 methylene group. So, option C is the correct one. Okay. Yes, even we are going to discuss about the bakelite. Bakelite is a form of a, a resin. Okay. So, you might have heard about the novelac, that is nerolac paint. Okay. You might have heard about the melamine, uh, like some of the crockeries. Okay. That we are going to use dishes in our, like a, a kitchen. Okay. Those are all made up of some type of a resin. Okay. So, this bakelite comes under that one. It consists of a monomers that is phenol and formaldehyde. These are the monomers of what? Bakelite. Okay. So, the first question, the answer is nylon 6. So, in this question only have got many information about the nylon 6s, their monomers, about the decron, about the nylon 6 at the same time about the bakelite. This is how you need to study. It is not like once you get the answer, once you get the option that is correct, 
you should not leave that you have to even concentrate on the remaining options as well okay so that you can cover maximum point in first question only in one question only okay similarly let us move to the next question that is cis 1 comma 4 polyisoprene is called cis 1 comma 4 polyisoprene is called bunion bunious neoprene natural rubber okay so dear students this I have discussed in the previous video the monomers particularly about the rubber okay so i have mentioned there that when it comes the cis polyisoprene it will be the natural rubber okay so natural rubber consists of a monomer unit that is 2 methyl 1 comma 3 butadiene i'm going to write the structure okay 2 methyl okay 1 comma 3 butadiene 1 comma 3 butadiene so 2 3 4 and here like 1 2 3 H over here. Okay. This is 3 methyl 1 comma 3 butadiene. This is natural rubber commonly known as isoprene, polyisoprene. Cis, it is because the same groups will be on the same side after the polymerization. Okay. So that's why the name. When it comes to bunion, I have discussed the bunion consists of a two monomer. One is 1 comma 3 butadiene, one more is N means acrylonitrile. For the bunions, it is 1 comma 3 butadiene, S means styrene. This Na means sodium, okay. And neoprene is an another synthetic rubber which consists of a polychloroprene as the monomer unit, okay. So, these three are the synthetic rubber and this is the natural rubber. So, these, the so answer for this question is natural rubber and the more extra information I have given, okay. Yes. So, these are the two questions. Okay. So, let us move. Yes, dear students. So, this is for 2018. So, the number of questions that have appeared are three questions. Okay. So, the third question that according to means 2019 completed. Now, the third question, which one of the following is a polyamide polymer? Okay. So, options are like terylene, nylon 66, bunias and the bakelite. So, dear students, you should know the meaning of polyamide. This even I have discussed in the previous video. Okay. So, polyamide means when the two monomer units will undergo condensation polymerization. Okay. Some byproduct will be formed and the amide linkage will be formed. This is what we are going to call it as a amide linkage. So, n number of amide linkage will be formed between the two monomer units. Okay. That's why it is called polyamide. So, for your syllabus, they have given two polyamides one is nylon 66 one more is nylon 6 okay so as i have explained among the four options nylon 66 is the one which is a polyamide which consists of a monomer units one is uh, adipic acid okay one is hexamethylene diamide Okay, so this is polyamide. So, according to the question, this is the correct option. Yet, the sterilene is polyester. Like how the amide bond is formed when the two monomer units will undergo condensation. Likewise, terylene is or which can also be known as a decron. Okay, so it results in the formation of a ester bond. Okay, it results in the formation of a ester bond like this. So that's why it comes under polyester. Okay, Buna S is one of the copolymer, one of the synthetic rubber, one of the addition polymer. Okay, Buna S. Bakelite is one of the what we can say addition polymerization. Okay, uh, which consists of a phenol and formaldehyde as a monomer units. Okay, so for this question, option B is the correct one. So, let us move to the next question that is among the following the branched chain polymer is. Okay. Among the polymer, the branched chain polymer here you could see PVC, Bakelite, low density polyethylene, high density polyethylene. Dear students, PVC that is polyvinyl chloride, low density polyethylene and the high density polyethylene. These are example for the homopolymer. And are example for the linear polymer 
and they are example for the addition polymer okay so this bakelite is the one which is a best example for the branched chain polymer so initially what happens the bakelite consists of the monomers phenol and the formaldehyde okay i'll writing the structure here phenol and formaldehyde okay so this initially undergo the polymerization to form a linear polymer called novellac okay this novellac will further undergo polymerization by treating with the excess of formaldehyde that gives what the branched chain polymer called bakelite okay so according to the question answer option b is the correct one okay this is about 2018 two questions we have completed let us move to the next question that is so the next question from 2018 itself that is the ziegler natta catalyst okay you could see here the ziegler natta catalyst is used in the or used to prepare low density polyethylene teflon high density polyethylene or nylon 6 so dear students this have discussed that about like discussing uh, uh, under polyethylene under homo polymer okay ziegler natta catalyst is the one that is used in the uh, used as a catalyst in the preparation of high density polyethylene okay hdpe we will going to call it okay so this is how ethene n number of ethene will undergo polymerization to give the respective what polyethene okay so to carry out this reaction we will going to use the catalyst that is ziegler natta catalyst which imparts some different properties to the particular uh, polyethene okay so the combination or the mixture or the composition of ziegler natta is that triethyl aluminum okay triethyl aluminum with titanium tetrachloride this is nothing but what ziegler natta catalyst okay it is used in the preparation of high density polyethene so option c is the correct one so in low density polyethene like uh, oxygen or some of the peroxide will act as a initiator okay teflon is an another homo polymer which is nothing but tetrafluoroethene nylon 6 is an example for the condensation as well as polyamide polymer okay so for this it's a option c which is correct so let us move to the 2017 so the number of questions been asked was around two questions okay the question is like the monomer used in novellac a polymer used in the paints okay this have discussed in the previous question okay so you could see here this is what i have discussed okay in the previous question so in the previous question i have discussed about the novellac dear students okay so novellac is like uh, a linear polymer formed from the phenol and the formaldehyde this novellac further undergo what uh polymerization that gives bakelite which is a branched chain polymer so here the question is the monomer used in the novellac a polymer used in the paints okay so phenol and the formaldehyde melamine and the formaldehyde butadiene and the styrene butadiene and the acrylonitrile okay so as i have told novellac is a linear chain polymer formed by formed by phenol and the formaldehyde which acts as a monomer so for this the answer option a is correct so melamine and the formaldehyde is an another type of a polymer or a resin melamine okay the name itself it is like a melamine resin okay so option c butadiene and the styrene which is nothing but what buna yes butadiene and acrylonitrile is nothing but what buna n so these two are what the synthetic rubber okay so this is about 2017 the first question let us move to the next question for 2017 itself yes so from 2017 the next question is which of the following is not a biodegradable polymer okay so whether it's a polyhydroxy butyrate co beta hydroxy vilarate 
और पी एच बी वी और नाइलॉन टू नाइलॉन सिक्स और वेदर इट्स अ ग्लिप्टॉल ओके सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड नो द आइडिया अबाउट द बायोडिग्रेडेबल पॉलीमर सो देर आर सम पॉलीमर विच कैन बी डीकम्पोजेबल ओके विच कैन बी डिग्रेडेबल बाय सम ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन द सॉइल ओके दे डिग्रेड सच पॉलीमर्स इन टू सम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर दैट विल नॉट गोइंग टू कॉज एनी पॉल्यूशन टू द एटमोस्फियर दोज आर नथिंग बट वट बायोडिग्रेडेबल पॉलीमर सो हियर द एग्जाम्पल फॉर द बायोडिग्रेडेबल पॉलीमर ओके वॉट दे हैव मेन्शन फॉर युअर सिलेबस इज वन इज पी एच बी वी वन मोर इज नाइलॉन टू नाइलॉन सिक्स डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज विथ नाइलॉन सिक्स सिक्स एंड नाइलॉन सिक्स दो स्टो आर द पॉली अमाइड हियर नाइलॉन टू नाइलॉन सिक्स इज अ सिंगल बायोडिग्रेडेबल पॉलीमर वन मोर इज पी एच बी वी ओके सो हियर पी एच बी वी इज नथिंग बट पॉली हाइड्रोक्सी ब्यूटिरेट को बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी विलेरेट okay this is nothing but phpv which is a biodegradable polymer so this will not come under this okay where phpv the short form they have given this is also biodegradable polymer nylon to nylon 6 is also biodegradable polymer so the left one is gliptol okay gliptol which consists of two monomer units one is gly means ethylene glycol uh, ptal the way to remember is thalic acid okay gliptol this is not a biodegradable polymer so for this question option d is the correct one okay so in this video i uh, will we have discussed about 2019 18 and 17 in the next video let us discuss about 2016 and the remaining years i hope you find this video useful okay thank you